Hi, my name is Charlie and I'm autistic. This video is about my experiences of restraint. Restraint happens when a person feels they have no choice but to comply. There are eight types of restraint to make someone do something they don't want to do or stopping someone doing something they do want to do. These eight types are using blanket rules, using your body, using equipment, using chemicals, using the environment, using surveillance, using communication, and using cultural norms. These are the eight types of restraint. Restraint affects the whole family. The first time it happened to Charlie was when they were in school. Charlie, can you come and sit down, please? Charlie, Charlie can you sit, can you down? sit down? Come and sit down, please. Charlie, if you don't sit in your chair, I'm going to have to help you into the carving tea. Carving tea, carving tea, carving tea. Come Ouch! On. Skin hurts. That's it. This is going to help no. you calm down. Out. 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 I know the teacher was just trying to help me do better in school, but I often had bruises on my arms and now I am terrified of tents, so I won't go camping. I don't like people holding my hands or arms, even my parents or my friends. I'm also afraid of small spaces and locked doors, but this wasn't as bad as when I was in hospital. Excuse me, can I change the channel please? No, you know we don't change the channel. But why? Because those are the rules here. It's so it's fair for everyone. Please, I really don't like programs about camping. I really don't like tents. It's just the rules here. They're not listening to me. Tents. Don't like tents. Really, really don't like tents. Don't like tents. Are you alright? Right. Scary, horrible tents. Don't like camping. Don't like tents. Don't want to watch this channel. It's okay. It's okay. They're not listening to me. They're not listening to me. I don't like tents. I don't like tents. I don't like tents. I don't like... Ah! No! Get off me! Ah! Oh, no, no, no. Down, no. Down. Ah! Please, leave me alone. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not fair. I don't like tents. I just don't like tents. They scare me. Tents scare me. <gasps> leave me alone. Out, out, let me out. Out, 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 out. There are three other types of restraint that have also happened to me. On one occasion, I was being moved between residential homes. They made me wear padded handcuffs and put me into a car that looked more like a cage. Almost every day in residential care, I was forced to brush my teeth. Staff would say they were just helping me, but it was psychological restraint and so-called negligible physical force because I felt I had to do it and like I had no choice. It hurt me so much and the noise was awful. However, there have been times when physical restraint was necessary and even life-saving. Charlie, whoa, watch out! Ah, skin hurts. Oh my goodness, you saved me. Thank you for that. It's okay. You need to be more careful. This was an proportionate use of force, but the sensory experience still hurt me but I am glad I wasn't run over. My dad has dementia and he was restrained a number of times too, though at the time we didn't know it was restrained. Oh, Mambach, my ribis. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry, love. I don't understand you. 
I'm really busy, but I'll get someone who can help you in a second, okay? Oh. Oh. You can't keep pushing that alarm. When I've got someone to help you, I promise I'll bring them to you. You just need to wait. Nars, nars, tu isho vizimavi. Vizimar. Tu fili kal kafela neva. Oh, bless him. I hate seeing him this distressed. I think we should give him some pills to calm him down. Don't you? Yeah. It's important to remember that restraint happens when a person has no choice. People can feel trapped, controlled and frightened. Most of the time, they were just communicating a need, but the distress was misunderstood. All restraint is traumatic, whether it is necessary or not. A lot of times restraint can be avoided by just talking to the person, understanding their needs and avoiding things that cause distress. If you think you or someone close to you are being subjected to inappropriate restraint or restriction, then you should tell someone about it. The people and organisations you can tell include family members and or friends, a nurse, social worker or teacher who is responsible for your care, a senior member of staff in the service you receive, such as a head teacher, senior manager, head of service or responsible clinician and an advocate or contact Care Inspectorate Wales, Putting Things Right, Healthcare Inspectorate Wales, the British Institute of Human Rights or and your local MP or member of the Senedd. If you think someone is at an immediate risk of harm, contact social services or the police.